Where do the diseases come from? One of the important contributors to diseases in many cases, not all, is the production of toxins. So these toxins are, are chemicals. They're, they're often proteins, but not always. And they, they tend to change the host tissue in some way, or tissues. Uh, you have two basic types of toxins, endotoxin and exotoxin. So the endotoxins, this is actually a portion of the outer membrane of the gram-negative bacteria. And what happens is, is the body uses the presence of this endotoxin, or lipid A as it's also known, um, to, to detect the presence of a bacterial infection in the body. And if you have too, much, too many bacteria and too much lipid A, then you can end up with um, the body overreacting and actually going into what's known as septic shock, and you can die from that. And then there's the exotoxins. The exotoxins are proteins. They're, they're typically associated with the gram positives, but also you find them in the gram negatives. And these things are very specific in, in how they damage our tissues, and they also tend to be very, very, very toxic. So very small amounts uh, can cause um, large amounts of disease, such as this botulism toxin. And they can be neurotoxins and enterotoxin. Botulism is a botulism toxin. Botulinum, it's called, is a neurotoxin. It affects our neurons. Uh, enterotoxins are things that uh, affect our uh, digestive system. So when you have food poisoning, so food poisoning technically is where you're consuming food that has some kind of toxin in it. And the toxin, um, we, we react badly to the toxin. It does some kind of damage to us down there. When the symptoms come on very fast in food poisoning, it's typically a food poisoning rather than an infection because you're, you're reacting immediately to the presence of toxin in the food. The, the bacteria were in the food, and they grew up, and they made lots of this exotoxin, and then you're eating the exotoxin, and, and not, it's not going down well. Um, but there also can be um, infections of your gastrointestinal tract. They take longer to come on because the bacteria actually have to replicate to certain numbers before diseases are present. So you can, uh, if you have a disease that's caused by the toxins, it's called an intoxication. And you can also vaccinate against um, these toxins using uh, vaccines called toxoids. An example of a toxoid vaccine is the tetanus vaccine. This is just the tetanus toxin. So tetanus is caused by Clostridium tetani, and it is um, caused by a, an exotoxin. And the tetanus toxin um, can be inactivated in terms of its ability to harm our tissues, uh, but not so much that our immune system can't recognize the uh, toxin. And so we build up antibodies against the toxin, and then if we're ever exposed to tetanus toxin, we can inactivate the toxin before it causes us harm. Uh, but the antibodies kind of wear away, wear off, so we have to boost these, our tetanus. We have to get a tetanus shot every 10 years or so to boost our uh, antibody numbers. <laughs>